if you really want to prove to black people that you love us and you care about us and you are down for the cause, do not go see that movie opening weekend. You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at that theater in front of the doors. You make sure that every black person in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us from anybody who would be coming in that theater to do. Before I start this video, I do want to say one thing. I am sorry to everyone that I may offend. No matter your height, size, race, nationality, background, where you live, what you eat, what you don't eat, anything. Because me as a black person, I hate people that talk like this. I hate them. And you're not supposed to hate people, but I'm just going to be real. I hate them. How do we want to come as one as a people, but we have people like this thinking like this? <laughs> if that makes sense, how I put that. How do we have people? Now, see, I was sent this video and I watched it, and I wanted to know everything this lady was saying. So I found the video of all of everything this lady was saying, but it would not let me uh, uh, put it out here for y'all on social media. So what this lady is basically saying when the movie Black Panther came out was saying no white people or people of other races are allowed to watch that movie. That's what she is saying. She is saying uh, white people use your body to protect us just in case anybody try to cause harm to us uh, 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 in, in watch, in, so we can watch the movie in peace. <sighs> Long story short, that's basically what she's saying. I'm not going to go to everything she's saying because I find shit like this offensive. And this is coming from a black person himself. What I am saying is if we want us to be one as a nation, we got to stop with this bullshit. We really truly do. I like you for you, not because of your race. I don't give a damn if Mexicans, whites, Asians, uh, uh, w Europeans, uh, uh, anybody was watching the damn movie. I don't care. I really didn't like the damn movie, really. I mean, it was a good action movie. It was. But the reason why I did not like the movie is because a democracy, my people, black people, has made on this damn movie. Y'all act like this is the first black superhero. So y'all going to disrespect Wesley Snipes in the movie Blade. You're going to disrespect Will Smith with Hancock. Huh? I mean, I can keep going. There has been a number of black superhero movies that, that I mean, hey, you forgot about Shaft back in the 70s? I mean, I can keep going. But there has been a number of black superhero movies, and we act like this is the first one and we finally got them. No, 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 no. We as a people need to stop with this bullshit. I am... Um, Hotly pissed when I see stuff like this. I am hotly upset. And the reason why I get upset is because, yeah, black people was done wrong back in the slavery days. But why are we constantly looking back in the rearview mirror? We know it happened. The best thing we can do is move forward. That's the number one thing we can do. And if you don't want to move forward, they go sit your ass down and shut the fuck up. That's what I hate about these social media these days. They're letting everybody just talk and don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And I want y'all to do me a favor. Look up where Wakanda is. Just, just tell me where is it at. Just tell me where is it at. Where is it located on the map of Earth? Where is it at? A lot of y'all think it's in Africa. It's a made up fictional place from a fucking comic book. It's not fucking real. It's not a real fucking place. And if you like Africa so fucking much, why don't you move there and shut the fuck up? Huh? Why don't you move there and shut the fuck up? Oh, I get why you can't move there. 
I get it. I'm not going to say I'm already going too too harsh on this on the social media platform right now. I'm trying to calm myself down. I hate this crap. My sister sent me this. And when I watched it, I was like, she knows stuff like this irks me. We as a people need to stop. Because if you want all of us to come together as one, this negativity that you're spewing out is not going to help. Do y'all know who made Black Panther? I want y'all to look it up. I want y'all to just think, just think. I give you a hint. It wasn't black people. It wasn't Hispanic. It wasn't African. It wasn't Jamaican. It wasn't Dominican. It wasn't nobody of black descent. Oh, oh, you don't know? Of course you don't know because you're too busy in that stupid ass fucking mindset. Huh? The fucking comic books been out since what, the 70s? Uh, no, I think the 80s, excuse me. And they finally made it to a movie, I think, in 2017 or 2018, I think, something like that. I'm trying to remember. Don't quote me on the year. And then what killed me about it, hell, a lot of black people want to boycott the movie because uh, uh, the, one of the main stars in the movie wasn't with a black woman. I mean, I can go on about that. I don't talk about that kind of issue because I don't want to make this a, a racial thing. And I barely make videos like this talking about race. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because I hate that my people think like this. I hate it. And you want to always go back to somebody's races. You want to go back to slavery. This is a saying that one of my uncles told me growing up. He said, you want to know what life is really about? I said, yeah, of course. Who don't? I think I was like seven, 16, 17. I don't remember exactly how old I was. I'm just guessing. I think 16 or 17. He said, "Go. I want you to sit in that driver's seat of that car. It was his car he was talking about. But he told me, sit in the driver's seat of that car. He said, this is what life is about. I'm like, what in the hell is he talking about? He literally told me, this is life. You see this big ass windshield, you focus on where you're going more than you focus where you're coming from. If you look in that little tiny rear view mirror, you can see where you came from. But you're supposed to more focus on where you're going. That's what he said. In other words, Life is about really focusing on more where you came from. I mean, excuse me, more on where you're going than where you came from. That's why you had that big ass windshield so you can focus on what's ahead of you and that little bit of mirror so you can remember where you came from. With other words, you need to focus more on where you're going. I did not understand what he meant at that point. But now that I'm older, I understand it. And I hate this nonsense. You know, I'm going to put it to you like this here. Uh, I want to say it's Tupac, Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, T.I. Uh, I'm trying to think of some more of the black rappers. But I can't think of them off the top of my head. You know who they say support them more than anybody else? White people. White people. So, what the fuck are you talking about? You know when I go to a movie that's supposed to be for black people? You know who I see in there more? When I'm physically at a movie that's supposed to be for black people, and I'm putting supposed to be in quotes because I don't think there is a such thing. But anyway, you know who I see that more? None blacks. Like when I did see the movie Black Panther. I didn't see it when it first came out. I saw it like maybe mm, a week, two weeks later, maybe, whatever. Still, it was more none blacks there. See, what I also hated, 
You see some people that's from New York or from North Carolina or wherever, uh, or from California, got on dashikis like they from Africa. Like they, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck, man? How come you can't just sit down and watch a movie, a movie excuse me, normally like regular people? How come you got to spew out this bullshit, the, the hatred that you speak it? You a racist, you got damn self for talking like this. No white people allowed. But then when a white person say no black people allowed, you want to call them racist. You want to call them all kinds of stuff. You want to act a fool and all that because what they said. But look at your dumb ass. You saying the same fucking thing. If you want equality, you have to give equality. That's what us men has been saying to women when they preach equality. That's what I'm saying as a black person to another black person. If you want equality, you have to give equality. Now imagine if a white person said that. I'm sorry to anybody that I have offended. I apologize. I'm not trying to offend anyone. But shit like this pisses me the fuck off.